so good to have you this morning with me. We're going to talk about being made whole. And this morning, I just want you to know that no matter how long you've had an injury, no matter how long you've had a situation in your body, that God is never late and His healing power is always available. But you've got to examine yourself and are you in faith? Are you taking his word? Are you believing what he said in his word? Because God is not a man that he would lie, nor the son of God that he would repent. If he said that he would heal you, he's going to heal you. And so, but you, sometimes we just have been listening to the wrong reports and listening to the wrong situations. So it's good to get our attention on the Word of God. And so this morning we're just going to talk from John chapter 5. And here this man in this situation, he had had a spirit of infirmity. He had been ill for 38 years. So so look at that. He's 30, 38 years he had been sick. You know, this, the, the other story at the gate, at the other, uh, at the other gate in the book of Acts, that man had been impotent from birth. And so you're never too far gone, you're never too, uh, too late that you can't receive the manifestation of your healing. But your part is to stay in expectation, expectation on the Lord, like Abraham. Abraham, the father of our faith, he didn't consider the deadness of himself, nor did he consider the deadness of his wife, Sarah, but he considered God. And so this morning, let's consider Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. And let's read here from the book of John, chapter 5. Now it says, After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem, by the sheep market, a, uh, a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda having five porches. And in these, uh, in this area, this porch, there was a great multitude of impotent or sick folk. They were blind, they were halt, they were uh, paralyzed, they, and they were waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel, every once in a while, would, at a certain season, would go and trouble the waters, and whosoever would jump in and get in that water would be made whole of their disease. And there was a certain man there which had had an infirmity for 38 years. Now, how long he'd been waiting and trying to get into that pool. But guess what? Here comes Jesus. Amen. There's no waiting with Jesus. You can take and receive Amen. You're healing. He's already purchased it. He is in heaven ever watching today over his word to perform it. Now it says, when Jesus saw him lying there, he knew that he had been there a long time in that case. And he said to him, will you be made whole? See, sometimes you've made... Uh, You've just agreed that this is the way life's going to be forever. You know, that this is just the way it is. And you've left expectation that God can change your situation and can bring about a miracle for you. So he asked him because the man had been there for a long time expecting to get healed. But I don't know what point he got uh, into a habit but he wasn't in faith. And sometimes we can get into a habit of righteousness that we walk in a habit, but our, there's not a faith connected to that habit. And so today I want you to get your faith engaged this morning to receive your healing. So he said, will you be made whole? And there, I, that's a question because sometimes people get into a pattern of illness and disease. They're getting money from the government. They're getting subsidies. They're getting different things. And I remember a, a year, uh, many years ago, a woman, a great woman of prayer, telling me a story how she had been in an accident and she was she was injured and she was going to to the uh, to litigate, you know, and she had an attorney, and the Lord spoke to her 
that she needed to forgive them. And if she forgave them, they she would be healed, okay? Now, she could have gotten a settlement of so many dollars, but you know what? More than anything, she wanted to be whole. And so sometimes uh, there are things that you're going to have to change. You're going to have to rise up. You're going to have to believe for bigger, amen, for God to meet you and not man. Just like Abraham, he didn't consider man. He didn't consider his physical body. He didn't consider his his wife Sarah's body, who, who he had no way to produce. He had no way to produce, but he considered God. And in situations, you've got to get your attention riveted back up to Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. It says here, there was a man, so let's go on, it said, and so Jesus said in verse 6 of John 5, will you be made whole? The impotent man answered, sir, I don't have a man. You know, sometimes we are looking, I can't do this because I don't have a man. I can't do this because I don't have a man. But you know what? Jesus wasn't concerned about what whether he had a man or not. This is what Jesus said. He said that man says, Sir, I don't have a man. And the water that is troubled to put me in the pool, and while I'm coming, another one gets in ahead of me. Somebody's getting in ahead of me. Don't you feel like sometimes somebody's getting in ahead of you? But you know what? Jesus is going before you. Look to Jesus. He will make a way where there seems to be no way. So Jesus said to him, <coughs> he disregarded his comments. He said, rise up, take up your bed and walk. And immediately, <coughs> excuse me, the man was made whole and he took up his bed and walked. And on the same day, it was the Sabbath. Now, the Jews didn't like that because he, Jesus he, he, you know, he only did what he saw the father do. And that man needed to be whole. And Jesus didn't care whether it was a Sabbath or whatever situation happened to be. It didn't matter to Jesus what was going on in the natural. It was his day of visitation. And Jesus said, rise up. And when that man rose up, he was made whole. Amen. And so... Again, the Lord says here, take up your bed, make a change, do something different this morning, change out of your situation, look back to Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith, and don't consider your, the deadness of your womb, the deadness of your husband's business, or whether you even have a husband, but look to Jesus. And he is the one that can make and will make you whole if you place a demand on his word. And this word here in John 5 says, rise up, rise up, take your bed and walk. Amen. So whatever that situation is, you've got to do a little something different. I tell the people when I go to the nursing home, do something you couldn't do before. Receive a movement and thank Jesus when you can do something you couldn't do before. Thank Jesus for it. Amen. He is the author and he is the finisher of your faith. And reread John 5. He wants, God says, Jesus says to you, will you be made whole? There's a part you have to do. There's a part Jesus has to do. Your part is to believe on him, to place a demand on him for your healing, and you will be made whole. I tell you, if you have a fence, like, uh, like the woman told me the, the, that years ago that she, she had an offense, and the Lord said, if you forgive them, I will heal you. And she said, Lord, I forgive them. I am not going to do this case. I'm not going to fight this legal battle. 
And you know, she walked out of that courtroom and she was miraculously healed. I tell you, there's, a, there's an exchange you need to make. You're going to have to rise up and, and do what the Lord says to do. Amen. He'll tell you what it is and don't disregard what's going on. Disregard the day it is. Disregard the time it is. Disregard those situations and hearken to the word of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for being with me. I, I pray this bless you today. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you're receiving when I uh, uh, something in in your in your body. Let me know a testimony. We had many things that happened in the Dominican when we prayed for the sick in the hospital. We went about just like Jesus, doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. That's what God wants for you. He wants you to receive it for yourself, and He wants you to go forth in His name and lay hands on the sick. Thanks for being with me today. God bless you.